so one fine day in school <laughs> this is how it really starts so one fine day in school like our teachers told us that we had to write this exam similar to the olympiads we had already had experience in writing so we all knew what it was it was this asset exam and we thought that we just write it and get done with it and that it wouldn't really change our lives or make it better or worse or anything and boy were we wrong <laughs> So um, the same day we got our papers and we answered them and everything and then a, a month later we got our results. So I was happy, I done well and I thought that was it. Okay, yeah, I'm done, I did well. So this is another certificate in the bag, in the bag, boom. And the people who didn't do so well, okay, yeah, whatever, we failed. Like nothing's really going to happen. So nothing changed for the people who didn't fare pretty well. But for the people who did do well, we got an email saying that we had to take a second level, second level test, and the questions would be those given to ninth graders. So, so our immediate was rea immediate reaction was what another test? I mean, what is this? So uh, we were we all met at the center and we wrote the test. And after the five hours of writing that test, we came out like this. Oh my god, it was so difficult. We all thought that was the end of our journey and that's it. And I mean, we just wrote it and came out, what a waste of a Sunday. And we thought that that was, our, that was the end of our journey. But a month later, I got a mail from YouTube saying that I had actually qualified. So after hours of disbelief, days of um, email responses and forms, and weeks of preparation and packing, I found that I was on my on the on the flight to Delhi. And when I reached there, I was confused because it all looked so amazing. And I thought it would just be another one of those courses, but it was so different. I mean, we had been offered about 12 different courses, and I actually had to Google the meanings of some of them, showing how unique and different they were from the stuff we normally see. It wasn't like science and English and all that. It was forensics, it was social entrepreneurship, it was DNA. So I had chosen DNA and um, when I went there, I saw that it wasn't only the whole course as aspect of it, it was the residential life as well. So I'll first speak about the course I had. So um, our instructors, they were from the US and um, they were so friendly and they made things so interesting for us. It wasn't only um, writing, it was so much, it, there were really in lectures and hands-on activities and building models, so it was nothing like we'd ever done before. And they were so friendly, our instructors and TAs, they were definitely not like our everyday teachers. So it was, it was a marvelous experience in the course challenged us to think beyond what we were made to think in class. We, ha we had to keep up with the pace and it all felt so brilliant to be able to do the things that we were able to do. We found out that we could learn much more in three weeks than we could probably learn in three years at the pace at which we were going because it was actually our pace, the pace at which we learned at and the style which we were used to learning in. And on the residential side, we all had roommates and we had a residential counselor and a residential counselor group. So it was more like a family at the end of it. It was a brilliant community because all of us were like-minded. Like in school, if you study really well, they tease you, they call you annoyed. But here there was nothing like that because everyone was like you. So it was brilliant to be surrounded by people who think in the same way. It was it was just marvelous and and they never let us feel bored even for a second. There was always some activity engaging us like either arts and mask making and debates and theater. It was it was really brilliant. And every weekend we'd have these major events like lip syncing and dance and um, like scavenger hunts and things like that. So it was a very wholesome experience. It was not only the course as such, but also you made so many different friends. And in the in initiation speech, Pankri Ma'am told us that 
Uh, after this after this summer studies program, we not only have a wider bank of knowledge, we'd also go home with a set of friends that we'd never forget and would keep in touch with for our whole lives. And in this, I'd like to say that she's perfectly right because till date, we keep in touch with the people in our course and the people who we um, who are residential group through emails and stuff. And after taking our course, it has also made us understand that engineering and medicine are not the only two things in India. There are there's so many different things you could go for in life, and it's really made us feel much better. And I'd like to say that I got a lot out of my time in Utrecht, like a real lot. And I feel that it's only my duty to give that much back. And I'm trying to do so with a little, like like today. But I know that I can never give back as much as I've gotten. But I know that by doing this today, I'm not only giving back a little bit to Utrecht, but also a lot to all the children there who don't know that a person can have such a magical three weeks because on the way back we were all confused, we were all crying, we were all upset because we wanted a life at Duke Tip. We wanted our whole life to be like the one at Duke Tip. And, and, it, and it's, it, it really leaves you speechless thinking about those moments. You get that feeling of nostalgia even though it was just a few months ago like when I opened my notebook that had all my notes about the course I was shocked to know that I remember most of it and I mean in school you study for it one exam you're done with it so you don't remember what you've done but then here it was such an engaging engaging experience that you remember everything and it was just the most marvelous experience beating Disneyland any day.